time to change the um, filter floss in the skimmer. Right, so that's three days worth on the filter floss. Right now I'm wondering with the faster flow whether we don't put the fleece in, put the floss, sorry, in and the fast flow bashes the mess through the ceramics back to the pond. Wonder what other people's views are on this. Do they use filter floss at the top of their bathy shower or do they leave it and it's all natural? Let me know. Okay, I'm going to try and remove this filter, filter floss and it's really hard. As you can see, stuff gets... Oh, it's not so bad this time. Last time I tried to take it out. All the ceramics got stuck to it. So that's three days worth at the minute. So I'll take that one out to be washed. And I'll replace it. So how many, how many guys just leave theirs like that? with no filter floss on it. Bear in mind we are going to put a faster flow through it. Got a 5,000 litre um, per hour pump on it and we've just ordered a 10,000 litre an hour pump so that will be doubling it. Obviously with the upflow maybe 8,000 litres you see. So here comes the awkward bit get this in. So hard to put it through. Ceramics. It's got to be an easier way than this. Looking forward to doing this on a winter's day. Right, so that's the next lot in. So we'll just leave that for a couple of days and see um, how dirty it gets. Now we've got um, a bit of fleece, filter floss in the static bed as well. Pick up more finds. And we'll get back to you. Obviously, because I'm filming it, I can't do it as clean as I normally would. But just to show you what we do, so then we'll really clean it and we'll just hang it out to dry so we can um, use it another time. I think that's too thick, you know. I think next time I buy it, or maybe get some, you know, the filter sponge instead, which is easy to lift out and clean. Well, we'll see anyway, so that'll be left to dry. Mm -hmm. Right, hi everyone. Right, today we are going to change the pump on the shower. We've got a 5,000 litre an hour one. Um, it's not running fast enough so we're starting to get um, a lot of dirt sitting sorry it went blur there sitting just on the sides there brown stuff baby tears are still hanging on in there still got a bit of froth so we're going to change that's the flow on the 5000 litre one so we're going to go and um, fit the 10,000 litre 
an hour pump and see if that makes any diff well it should hopefully make some difference go a bit faster so we'll see right, so this is the pump we've got got it off ebay it's 94 pounds just over that's 10,000 litres dry pump um, I've had a couple of these very reliable don't have any problems with them so Chris is going to fit that Hopefully, you're just going to swap out, because the fittings are exactly the same, swap out this one, and then obviously just put the piping onto the new one. Yeah. yeah. Right, now we're going to try and um, connect it. The only thing Chris is worried about is whether the, the homemade bin, static bed, will drain too quick with um, a larger volume of water being pumped through it. But we'll wait and see. Nice and dirty in there. That's a day's worth, isn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to drain the bin. Slippers on again. Yeah, cool. So, if anyone's not seen our bin before, it has K1 static at the bottom, then three layers of sponge, and then some filled floss at the top, and that runs off our skimmer through this bin and then back into the shower. That's that. So that's, that was pretty quick. Yeah, but I've changed it around. Oh, what, you're putting the pump higher? Yeah, so it's off the floor as well. I need to turn that around, I think. Oh, I need to come up one more, I think, and then that can go to there. Why do you want it higher? Just because, ease? Uh, because I've got, I haven't got a bend to, to come up. Okay. So if I put that onto there, that will then go onto that. And then that will come round. And then it come there, and onto there. I, might cut that, but I don't want to cut it down yet, in case it does, because I want to get it straight over to there, won't we? We're just going to block it up for now because if, if it does drain it, then I'll come straight off the skimmer and we'll get rid of that and we'll get a, a different filter. Alright, okay. So, I'll, so I'll we'll get on. another breeze block. I'll get another breeze block. Just to raise that up a little bit more. I don't think it's a breeze block, is it? Do you reckon? Oh, this is a three between. This is so it's six square. One more, then. One more bit of decking. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that. We've got to put a bit of tape down that so that takes that slice up. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to put So we'll get back to you when it's plumbed in and let's see how fast it is.
Okay there, so it's all plumbed in. So that's the flow rate we've got now. Much better. See it all underneath. I'm just going to go around there. Now and there. Show you the speed it's coming in here now. So that's much better. It's pounding. It might take that. See how that floss goes, but we might take that out. But uh, we're going to have to clean that every day if not. So unfortunately, we had to take the green bin away. As it just the pump just drained it too quick and the skimmer inlet which is that down there couldn't keep up filling the drop the wheelie bin so shed's all nice and tidy now all in its place so wheelie bin out so this is what I've got that coming in coming down I put a ball valve on that in case I ever want to change it now into the 10,000 litre an hour pump straight up into the shower so that's what we've got now and air pump up there does the next one and then the two air pumps there as the pond so that was that so we may get a an upflow here on this wall there so then go into the upflow and then into the shower so uh, that could be the next thing I'll take my cup, he will never go with me.